Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Once again, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and great millstone that teaches this truth and rule well. My name is Tazim Akamath, coming from the camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. Here with a um, you know, uh, you know, an encounter I had while I was at work. Um, it was during this week. Um, man, it was so crazy because I was delivering. I was watching a lesson. You know, I was watching a lesson, and you know, I was delivering, and something told me, man, just look up, look up, and so I looked up. And I seen this flag. I'm like, why is it black? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I start. I looked at it closer, and it was an American flag, bro. So I'm like, damn, this is spiritual. And then on their on their yard, they had this Trump 2024 Save America Again. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, this is so freaking spiritual. And, you know, this is an omen from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, you know, I encountered it. And that just lets us know, man, like, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy it with wrath, man. He has vengeance for this place. He hates this wicked place. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull up a definition. Okay, this is the definition of omen. And an event regarded as a portion of good or evil, prophetic significance. Okay, prophetic significance. And this is in an occurrence. This is Merriam Webster. And an occurrence or phenomenon. Believed to be pretended a future event. A future event. So let's go to the word, the black definition, the definition of black. And you jump all the way down into Google right here. A very evil or wicked, very evil or wicked. Okay, very evil or wicked. So you go back here, you see America, very evil and wicked. Hey, man, this is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. This is all spiritual, man. Barakatha, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Babakasha, 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 Abab, Babal, because he's going to destroy America, man. America, Babylon, virgin daughter, Babylon. Which is uh, America, man? This is this place is going to be destroyed, man. And if you think America is not in the in the Bible, it's Virgin Daughter Babylon, man. Babylon, the great man. This is this is Rome, spiritual Rome and Egypt all over again, man. You know, and I encountered it, and it was so spiritual, man. I just put up prayers, and I was just thanking the Lord because, you know, this is a sign. That's going to help brothers, you know, to keep moving, keep pushing forward, man. You know, keep moving, keep pushing forward because the Lord is going to fight for us. You know, the Lord is going to fight for us and the Lord is going to do everything, you know, that, you know, that's in the scriptures, you know. So let me open up with this first scripture. It says Job 21 and 30. That the wicked are reserved to the day of destruction, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay? The wicked is reserved to the day of destruction, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna destroy this wicked kingdom, man. It's gonna destroy this wicked kingdom. And everybody, you know, that don't want to get right, the two-thirds, and these heathen. Okay? The two-third and these heathen. Because it's lucky, man. It's damn Satan. But everybody don't want to get right with you. How about Shimei Shai? 
He's going to destroy you. And with this, with this place, man, this place is going to get destroyed by thermonuclear fire. You know, 200 million nuclear missiles are going to hit America to utterly destroy it and make a desert. Okay? This is a sign, man, from the heavens. Okay? This is so crazy, man. I'm so, like, astonished at this. So let's jump to this next scripture right here, man, because the wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. White went white man, woman and child. OK. They're reserved to be utterly destroyed by the hand of the Lord. OK. And his army, which is his missiles and his angels, man. So this is Job 20 and five. That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. OK, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right, because this um devil, man, he's going to go out so fast, man. He's going to be like like uh, dung. Dung is like shit. OK, you know, you got shit in the toilet, you flush it, it's gone forever. That's how this devil's going to be, man. Once these missiles hit America, this man's going to be gone. OK, his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach onto the clouds because his sins it just pop piling up more and more and more and more. His sins is reaching up to heaven, man. OK, his sins is reaching up to heaven. And let's let's get let's link that man with Revelation. Revelation 18, Revelation 18 and five for her sins have reached onto heaven and her is talking about virgin daughter Babylon. OK, which is America. OK, it says for her sins have reached onto heaven. And Yahweh Bashim al Shai have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, filled, so it says, in the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. Okay, so we're gonna reward this damn devil, man. Everything they done to us is gonna be double, man. Double in the kingdom. <laughs> you rule us with, you know. But whips, we're going to rule you with, with iron, rods of iron, man. You know? So, and it says, let's go back to Job. And it says, Job 20 and 7, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him has, shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall pit. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Right, man. He shall fly away as a dream. You know, when you have dreams, sometimes you will dream, but then you don't you don't remember them. So they just fly away. It's just it was just for a moment, you know, and this, you know, and this captivity brand man is just for a moment, man. It's a light affliction. This is a nightmare where we living in, man, because in the kingdom, we're going to be living for eternity. We're not going to be caring what we went through here, man. We're not going to care what we went through here. But when we're in the kingdom, we're going to look back like, wow, man, that was a, you know, the Lord really spared us. The Lord spared us. The Lord, man, he's graceful, man. He's merciful because we, we should suffer. We should, we should be suffering more than what we're in right now, you know, but the Lord, you know, is merciful and he's, he's bringing us back up, you know? And, you know, we, we're going to see, man, let's get that too, man. This is Psalms. Um, uh, so uh, bear with me real quick. Psalms 91 and 8. It says, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Okay, so we're going to see the reward of the wicked. And which, what is that? If you might, if you ask, like, what is, what is the reward of the wicked? How are we going to see that? With the missiles. 
When the missiles, those, those sirens, those alarms go off and you see those missiles hitting America. Hey, man, that's seeing the reward of the wicked. You know, when we get beamed up to the chariot, Lord will, Yahweh, right the Zah, you know, we get beamed up. We be chosen of the elect. We get beamed up, man. We're going to be watching from the chariot on down to see the reward of the wicked. Seeing America get blown up. OK. You know, and that's beautiful, man, because. Hey, I want to see these devils get paid for what they they done to us. You know, we we have no we have no power in our hands, man. We're worms. You know, that's why the Lord said, "Vengeance is mine. I shall, I shall recompense." Oh, let's get that real quick. Um. Second Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Shemiyashai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay, and that word recompense means to pay back. Okay, it's a righteous thing for what Yahweh Shemiyashai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay, because who troubled us, man? Who put us through harsh, harsh uh, predicaments, harsh tribulations, captivity? It was this devil, man. Esau eat him. You know, he ripping up our babies, throwing them to alligators. You know, man, there's things that we don't even know this devil done, man. But the Lord has counted it in the heavens, man. His angels have been watching this devil rule and what he has done to us for years and years and years. Okay? There's things that we, man, man, we find out we're going to go on the road. <laughs> Rampage speed, uh, rampage, you know, rampage. So, hey amen. The Lord, he's going to open us up with all that fury. He's going to, he's going to put that remembrance in our brain. And man, so we're going to have all our power to whoop your ass. Okay. Because man, this devil got to pay. He think he can just get away scot-free, you know, doing that to us. Nah, man. That's why the Lord is sending this omen. You know, to back it up with the scriptures, because this is going to happen. This is prophecy. It's going to happen. Whether you hear or not, it's going to happen. All right. You know, and this Trump, this Trump thing, man, because they, you know, man, these devils, man, these Egyptians, you know, these Americans, they hate Biden. <laughs> they hate Biden. They hate the old man, the old sleepy Joe. Uh, what was the sign they be putting? They hate uh Sleepy Joe in the hole, <laughs> you know. But they hate him, you know. They want they want Trump back in office, okay. And this so spiritual right here, it says save America again. America's not getting saved, man. America's done. It's been done, okay. So let's get that precept right here. This is Psalms two and one. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? All right, man. Yeah. Why do the people imagine a vain thing, man? It's not coming back to life. This is dead. This this thing's going to crash. You know, this this country is going down. You know, they imagine a vain thing. They think uh, Russia and China think they're going to be the next superpower. No, nah, man, this is done. This is our turn. You know, the Lord said it's our turn, okay, for life, forever, okay? And, you know, man, we're tired of this devil, man. This devil needs to go, and, you know, and seeing that, man, this is boosting my faith, you know, you know, to keep pushing, to keep striving for the Lord, you know, doing everything we could do, you know, to get out of here, man, send curses, pray, you know, Watch as well as pray because, hey, man, we're watching for these signs, you know. And, you know, I be outside, you know, I encounter so much, you know, so I'll, I'll catch some spiritual stuff. But this was so spiritual right here, man. I was like, man, I got to take a picture. I don't even care if the homeowner asks me, well, what am I taking a picture, man? You, What you got in your, when your yard is like, I want to take a picture, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hey, Amen. He's the only person on that street that had this, 
you know? And he might, he probably must not even know. Like, he probably thought it was a cool flag. Like, you know, it's black, you know, it's American, you know. But not even knowing, it's a deeper meaning behind that, you know. And it was all upset. It was all set from the Lord that I, that I would see it, you know. But this is, uh, go back to this Trump right here. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon, which is also known as America, had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Right. Because, you know, all these nations, you know, when they come to America, man, they change. They change, man. You know, the women, the men. They're not the same when they're in their other country. But when we're here, there's, you know, come as you are, be free, you know, do what you want. You know, and this this country promotes so much wickedness. They bring it back over there and now it's polluted their land. OK, this polluted their land. It says the nations have drunk of her wine, you know, the philosophies. It says, therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. Hey, if so, she may be healed. And, but verse 9, it says, We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. She is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So that links with Revelation 18. Her sins have reached up to the heavens. Forsake her. She is not healed. She's not going to be healed, man. You know? She's done. America's done. This whore is done, man. You know? It, it destroyed our people's mind. It's polluting our people. Our people are fucking destroyed. You know? Who cares about these heathen? But our people, man. Our people are destroyed. They don't know what's going on. You know, we ready to get out of this captivity. You know, this is more of a mental captivity now. Mentality captivity. You know, they destroyed our mind, man. You know, once they once they control your mind, they destroy you as a whole, man. You know? So, this devil got to go, man. He, he done too much wickedness. All you see is... uh. Trans, you know, trans, you know, moles, you know, they promote wickedness on uh, cartoons, TVs, you know, secret agendas. All this stuff is getting revealed, man. Their nakedness is getting uncovered. OK. And they can't hide it. All right. Let's go back to the flag. I got a couple more precepts for that flag because, man, it's so spiritual. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, and seeing this, you know, let's go back to the definition for omen. It says an event regarded as a portion of good or evil, prophetic significance. Uh, it's a lot. Right here, it says an occurrence or phenomenon believed to be pretended or a future event. So a future event that's going to happen is Jacob's trouble, you know, and it's dark. You know, the, the when the Lord comes back, it's going to be dark and gloominess. OK, it's not going to be peace. It's not going to be nice. You know, and what they portray in church is going to be dark and gloomy. So people are not ready for that for death. People are not ready to see death. People are not ready to see all our hell break loose because it's going to be an evil time because you go to the definition of black. It says very evil or wicked. So it's going to be a very bad and evil time that's about to occur, man. You know, as the moon shows its signs, you know, so is your daily encounters. OK, so you have to be aware that you be circumspect what's going around because there's signs all over the, the Lord, that, in, that incorruptible spirit is in all things, you know, 
Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah spirits in all things. So that's crazy. Let's get uh Sirach 10 and 10. The physician cut it off a long disease. And who's the physician? It's Yahweh Shah. He's that physician. Cut off a long disease is Esau Edom, man. He's as long disease as has been ruling the whole world, man, for some time now. Okay? And it says, and he that is and he, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. Okay? And he's gonna die by these nuclear missiles. Okay? He's gonna be he's gonna die, man. And by the uh, you know, the elect. You know, those uh the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, we get them spiritual powers, low will. We're gonna destroy you devils, man. We're gonna show you how it feels, man. All this built up anger we got for you. Okay? Because we don't hate you enough, man. <laughs> the Lord's gonna put the spirit where we hate you. We're gonna destroy you. You know, dash your babies against that stone, man. All right. Let's get this last priest up and I'll close it out. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Amen. So, it's a lot. You know, this wickedness has, you know, polluted the earth. And it all stems from this cancer, man. America and Esau Edom, okay? These top elites, the top bankers, their agenda, you know, all the way down to America, man. You know, little Rome. <laughs> you know, you 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 pollute wickedness, man. You you create that cancer, man. You got to you got to be destroyed, man. You know, you, you know the physician the physician have to cut off a long disease. He got to start from the damn root that causes it which is America, man. That's why you're going to get hit with 200 million missiles. Okay? But you see, the Lord is going to bring sword, the sword, which is, you know, you know, those weapons, the destruction, famine, you know, which is happening right now, but now it's going to be more manifested. Death and destruction, man. You're going to see, man, it's, a, it's going to be a purge out here. So, you know, I'm going to let you see it one more time. American flag, man. It's a sign. It's an omen. You know? But Lord will, this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashimur Kakwadash, Barakatha Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashimur Kakwadash, Khan Lahim La, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashimur Kakwadash, Babksha, 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 Abba Baba, Abba Baba, Abba Baba. Shalom.